Good morning, everybody. Usually we start talking every morning about COVID, about the fight against COVID. And that's what we focus on. But right now we've got something absolutely shocking to talk about and troubling, really, really troubling. We have news just now from late last night from the Supreme Court. And this was literally done in the dead of night. And it reflects a Supreme Court uh, profoundly out of touch with the American mainstream and more and more a court dominated by right-wing extremists. The Supreme Court refused to stop Texas Senate Bill 8, which is essentially almost a complete ban on abortions in the state of Texas. This is deeply troubling, and the Supreme Court, by not acting, made a very, very troubling decision that has ramifications for us here in New York, for the entire country. It's a direct assault on the rights of women. Let's not mince words here. This will endanger lives of women in Texas immediately. It will put women's lives in danger. Uh, it will certainly endanger the rights that women have had for decades in this country. It's an assault on the gains that women have made in our society. And it's an attempt to pull us backwards. Um, it, we cannot let this stand. I just want to be very clear. This is going to require a national mobilization to fight against this because we can tell right now through this action where the Supreme Court wants to go and it's profoundly unacceptable. Uh, and, and on top of all that is what they've done, what this court has done and the Supreme Court's in action in every way appears to be unconstitutional because Roe v. Wade has clearly been the law of the land.